We've seen chaos in the doubling map, in the tent map, but the logistic map from the very beginning of this series also exhibits chaos, and it does so in a very special manner. Let's recall the logistic map from way back in Volume 1. The logistic equation is xn plus 1 equals r times xn times 1 minus xn. Now, as a mapping of the interval, this is really simple. It takes the closed interval from 0 to 1 to itself for values of this parameter r between, let's say, 0 and 4. Now, when r is small, there's nothing interesting that happens. You just have a simple equilibrium or two, really, really simple dynamics. But when r equals 4, this system is just full-on chaotic. If you look at the diagram for this, it resembles very much what happened in the tent map. And in fact, it is very much like the tent map. There is full symbolic dynamics on uh, sequences of zeros and ones. That whole thing, that works in this case. So the question is, how does chaos develop? There's nothing there when r is small. When r gets all the way up to 4, we have full chaos. How did that come into being? Well, that has to happen through bifurcations. And in this case, through period doubling bifurcations. Let's see how this works. If you go back, look at the analysis that we did on this system initially, maybe reproduce it yourself. You can find easily that there are equilibria at x equals 0 and at x equals 1 minus 1 over r. Now, this latter equilibrium, 1 minus 1 over r, that guy is going to be stable for all values of r between 1 and 3. But at r equals 3, we have a bifurcation at that equilibrium. It is a period doubling bifurcation. It's a supercritical period doubling bifurcation. That means that for r past 3, that stable equilibrium becomes unstable. And right past this bifurcation, we have a stable period to orbit. And this works when r is bigger than 3, but it doesn't last forever. It lasts for values of r up to 1 plus square root of 6. And that's about 3.449 dot 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 dot. Now what happens at 1 plus square root of 6? At this parameter value, there's another period doubling bifurcation but not a period doubling bifurcation at an equilibrium. No, it is the periodic orbit itself that undergoes a period doubling bifurcation. Whoa, that's kind of interesting. How does that work? What does that lead to? That leads to a cascade of period doublings. Let's draw a line representing the parameter r when we are before r equals 3. When r is less than 3, we have a stable equilibrium, or if you like, a stable periodic orbit of period 1. Past r equals 3, that stable equilibrium becomes an unstable equilibrium, so an unstable period 1 orbit and a stable period 2 orbit because of the period doubling at r equals 3. But then at r equals 1 plus root 6, that is approximately 3.449, then we have another period doubling bifurcation. We still have that unstable equilibrium. We still now have that period to orbit, but it becomes unstable. And what gets created is a stable period four orbit. That period doubled orbit itself doubles in period. Now this keeps on going until about 3.544 dot, 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 in which case we still have our unstable period 1 orbit, our unstable period 2 orbit, that period 4 orbit becomes unstable and it sheds a stable period 8 orbit. Is there yet another period doubling bifurcation? Of course there is. It happens at about 3.564 dot 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 dot. 
in which case we're left with a stable period 16 orbit, and then this collection of unstable periodic orbits. Now, this keeps going and going and going and going until what? Until at about 3.56969, a whole bunch of other digits, you can keep going and going on that one, everything accumulates. It limits up to an infinite sequence of period doubling bifurcations that all pile on top of one another. And past this point, this very critical point, what do we see? We see chaos. Before this accumulation point, everything was fine. There was no chaotic dynamics. The only periodic orbits were the ones that came from period doubling bifurcations. But past r equals, I don't know, approximately 3.57, this logistic map gets chaotic. But it has some chaotic features. It's, how should we say, less chaotic than what you get at r equals 4, where you have full symbolic dynamics. It looks just like a tent map. Now, here's the deal. There's weird stuff that happens in between. At some values of r, bigger than 3.57 but less than 4, things just all of a sudden seem to collapse into a really nice stable periodic orbit and seemingly not much else. Now, this gets rather complicated and a little bit deceptive. Everything is sort of best viewed in something called a bifurcation diagram, where what we're going to do is along the horizontal axis, we're going to plot the parameter r. Along the vertical axis, we're going to plot values of x in the interval from 0 to 1. And what I'm going to do is for each parameter value r, I'm just going to plot a whole bunch of initial conditions. I'm just going to take points at random in the interval, plot them. Keep going, keep going, keep going. What do you see? They accumulate onto the stable equilibrium. And then as we get to that period doubling bifurcation, they accumulate onto a pair of stable points on that orbit. And then after that, immediately it seems, there's this sequence of additional period doubling bifurcations that accumulate. And then past that, there's just a whole bunch of random stuff going on. Now, I want you to take a look at that diagram and see just how quickly these period doubling bifurcations occur. And I also want you to notice that out past that accumulation point into the chaotic region of the parameter space, sometimes you see these little windows where it looks like there's a stable periodic orbit. Is that in fact the case? It is indeed the case if we tune our parameter to a particular value where we're in one of those nice stable windows, then we can see things such as, for example, a periodic orbit of period 3. A periodic orbit of period 3 that is stable, that is attracting, seemingly, all the other initial conditions. Now, where did that come from? That guy did not come from a period doubling bifurcation, because it's period 3. Now, there are a lot of other mysteries sitting inside this diagram, but what I want you to do is beware and be cautious. Because even when we are in a situation where it seems like this system is nice, where you've got this, I don't know, stable period three orbit, mm -mm, there's still chaotic dynamics inside of here, but it's hiding. That is not at all obvious, and we have a little bit of unpacking to do in order to understand that phenomenon.